Mauve is a neutral pale purple hue with a grayish tint that sits somewhere between violet and pink. The first use of the word mauve as a color was in the very late 1700s according to the Oxford English Dictionary, but its usage seems to have been very rare before 1859. This is the story of how an accidental discovery would go on to change fashion, science, and history. Malaria was running rampant in Europe during the 18th and 19th centuries. Quinine, the only known treatment, was extracted from the bark of a particular tree which only grew in the tropical forests of the Andes in South America and cost a fortune. It was urgent to find a more affordable way to obtain quinine, so the race was on to make it artificially in the laboratory. Focused on the task was the 18-year-old chemist William Henry Perkin. During Easter break in 1856, Perkin tried a new idea in the small laboratory in the attic of his father's house in London. While trying to synthesize quinine, an unexpected byproduct of his experiment with coal tar resulted in a bright purple residue that caught his eye. Most chemists would have simply disposed of this liquid, chalking it up to a failed experiment, but Perkin, who had once dreamed of being an artist, dipped a piece of silk into his beaker and realized that he had made a light and washproof dye. Sensing the commercial possibilities, Perkin originally named the dye Tyrane Purple, but the product was renamed Mauve when it was officially marketed in 1859 after the French name for the mallow plant whose petals have a similar hue. Mauve soon became a fashion must-have. The extravagant wife of Napoleon III decided that the color Mauve matched her eyes perfectly. The Illustrated London News notified its readers that the world's most fashionable women preferred Perkin's Purple. Queen Victoria would also take note and choose to wear a rich mauve velvet dress with a matching petticoat to her daughter's wedding. And by 1859, Punch magazine would publish cartoons poking fun at the huge popularity of the color, dubbing the trend the mauve measles. Violet, once a hue reserved for royalty, was a mass market sensation. Now 21, Perkin had become a rich and well-respected man. Inevitably, as with most trends, overconsumption as well as its loyalty from the older Victorian generation meant the color would soon become shorthand for a particular type of aging lady. Never trust a woman who wears mauve, Oscar Wilde declared in The Portrait of Dorian Gray. It means she has a history. The current Queen of England, perhaps bearing the stigma in mind, has vetoed blooms of this color from the palace flower arrangements. As the memory of the original dye has faded, the modern understanding of mauve is a lighter, less saturated color than it was originally known. Perkin went far beyond transforming the world of fashion with his laboratory accident. It also aided in the invention of several medical discoveries, thus being the reason why mauve is credited by historians as the color that changed the world.